after witnessing his family be brutally murdered in an ambush in Mexico, one 13-year-old boy trekked through the dangerous countryside for six hours to get help for the injured survivors. Devin Blake Langford was one of the 14 children and three mothers who were attacked and gunned down near the United States-Arizona border on Monday. The three mothers, Christina Langford, Ronita Miller, and Donna Langford, were each driving separate SUVs from their family's community. Devin was in his mother Donna's car when their vehicle was attacked. Donna was 43 years old and her two sons, uh, Devin's younger brother, Trevor was 11 and Rogan, two and a half, died as bullets tore through their car. The second oldest of the family, Devin, took action, hiding those of his siblings who managed to escape under branches in nearby bushes before walking the 14 miles back to Lamora for help. While Kylie 14, Mackenzie 9, Cody 8, Jake 6, Xander 4, Braxton only 9 months waited for Devin, he bravely made his way through the mountainous region for aid. It took Devin 6 hours to get back to family members, and Mackenzie ended up leaving while he was gone, also looking for help. When Devin arrived at Lamora around 5.30 p.m., he brought the first news of the deadly attack with him. According to Kendra, Devin's uncles armed themselves with guns and returned to try to find the hidden children, knowing many of them were injured. They didn't get far before realizing they would be risking death since there had been continuous shooting for hours all over the mountains near Lamora. The group of men waited a while for reinforcements, and around 7.30, found the hidden children. Yet when the men arrived, Mackenzie was missing as she had fled for help when her older brother didn't return quickly. After two more hours of searching, Mackenzie was found. By nightfall, Devin's father, David Langford, arrived from Tucson, Arizona. David accompanied the five injured children in a helicopter back to the U.S. to get treated, and Devin, Jake, and Faith remained in Lamora. Christina's car was with Donna's car when the ambush began and the 31-year-old mother was shot and died after she leapt from her vehicle in a desperate plea for the attackers to stop, according to a family member's post on Facebook. Christina's baby daughter, Faith, whose car seat had been hurriedly set on the floor of the car, miraculously survived. Ronita's car was discovered about 10 miles away from Donna and Christina's car. The 30-year-old mother and her children, Howard, 12, Crystal, 10, and twins, Titus and Tiana, 8 months, all died in the attack as their car caught fire from all the gunfire. The family members were all burned to mostly ashes, and only a few charred bones were left to identify. They all five had been inside. President Donald Trump has called the attackers monsters in a tweet on Tuesday and added that the United States stands ready, willing, and able to get involved and do the job quickly and efficiently. The great new president of Mexico has made this a big issue, but the cartels have begun, become so large and powerful that you sometimes need an army to defeat an army. As of Tuesday evening, a GoFundMe page has been set up and has raised nearly $57,000 for the families involved in this tragedy. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, leave me your thoughts and opinions below in the comment section. This is such a sad tragedy. I had a hard time reading this article and doing this video. My prayers go out to all the family and friends affected by this tragedy. I just can't even imagine.